Well, okay, let's see if we can finish it up today then, huh? God bless you. What troubles you? Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. I, a mining engineer. What do I know of war machines? I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? I don't know anything about trebuchets either. Actually, there is a way you could help. Conrad Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Conrad Kieser? Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. He even took part in the siege of Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. You're still an engineer, though. Couldn't you build it yourself? Are you serious? Do you know how complicated such a machine is? What forces are at work in the contraption? If we were lucky, it wouldn't fire at all. Far more likely, it would smash itself to smithereens and kill lots of us instead of the enemy. He was with Sigismund. It's not so straightforward. They quarreled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Hmm. I don't suppose he took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Bethlehem Castle. Banished? Like a common criminal. He was a member of the court and a doctor and a master engineer, Pierce. so nothing quite that bad befell him. I've even heard he has a whole host of wise men with him and they're writing some book together. Oh. Coffee. What's he doing here in Sassau? They sent him over here to help with building the monastery. No doubt they had to pay handsomely to get him. And how am I supposed to get him here? Abduct him? Well, only if all else fails. We need his cooperation. Try having a word with him. By all accounts, he hates Sigismund. All right, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. See you later. Rocketeer. Yes, we last year is somewhere totally different. <laughs> can I do for you? How are you, my lord? How do you think? That slimy toad has my blood boiling. 
If I get my hands on him, I'll rip his black heart out. Only I've been handed the job of guarding the western route, and the quarry. But there's not a damn thing happening there. Well, at least you're out of archery range of the castle. True, but it's not much consolation. If the men don't get something to do soon, I'll have to put them to work in the quarry. Idle hands are the devil's tools. How do you think the siege will go, sir? Better than it has done so far, I hope. First, we lost your lord and father, and then our nighttime assault failed. I'm sorry we didn't succeed. It would all have been over by now. But at least we got out alive. If the two of you had been left behind, Istvan would have had another pair of hostages. Oh, let's pray our fortunes improve. But I'm a bit worried about that trebuchet. I don't have much experience with engines of war. Even if we do drive Toth out, there might not be much left of the castle after we've done it. Sir Hanush, do you think Sir Radzig is all right? Oh, don't worry. He's more used to Toth alive, so he's in no danger for now. For now? Radzig's a man who knows how to take care of himself. I'm more concerned about Lady Stephanie. It would be dreadful if anything happened to her. It was a pleasure to talk to you, Sir Hanush. Likewise, Henry. Take care. God be with you. How are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Yes, I've heard something like that. <laughs> I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone, and we've drained the local inn dry. <sighs> That's bad news. Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods, either. But if you happen to know about some, let's hear it. <laughs> News like that, it refresh me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. God be with you. God damn it, Sir Bernard. to go hunting to meet Mm-hmm. 
Come on, why can't I talk to him for? How are you? How are the men holding up? They're a rabble. The out-of-towners are desperate to go home. And the locals, they've got nowhere else to go. So they're just generally complaining. Are they causing trouble? No trouble as such. It's true, I've caught a few of them asleep on their watch. There's nothing a couple of lashes of the whip can't cure. Well, there might be a simpler solution. Whipping a man, simple enough. Just give one of them a beating, the others will remember. And when they forget, do it again. But then you'd have an injured soldier. It occurred to me a herbal potion might do the trick. I never heard of any wives' quackery helping troop morale. But Christ knows they could do with something to flush the booze out of them and keep their eyes open. Hmm. How goes it, Sir Bernard? How goes it? We're sitting here under the castle, and all day long there's folks hewing stones. My ears are ringing as if I'd been struck on the head, which is just how I feel. I've felt that way too since the night of the attack. That went horribly wrong. And even so, we were lucky. Could have gone much worse. Goodbye. Hmm. God bless you. What troubles you? God be with you, Henry. How do you feel, Sir Divish? How's the shoulder? I felt better, boy. Ugh. I feel awful, truth be told. And my shoulder's paining me. Let someone tend to the wound and you'll soon be better. The flesh can be healed, perhaps. But the spirit... Henry, can you do something for me? What is it you need, sir? I need a priest as well as a physician. The closest was in Rovna. But I don't know what happened to him. And then there's the one from Ujits. What's his name? Godwin. But why would you need a priest? The wound will heal, especially with the help of one of the monks. It's not about me. I've got a lot of wounded here that won't see mourning, and dead men. And I have to confess my sins. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, go to the herbalist first. Uh... Yeah.
Greetings. How may I help you? The troops are falling asleep on guard duty. Do you have anything to help? There's a recipe I know. I could brew up enough for two or three men with what I have here. No, I need enough for a whole bloody encampment. Actually, for three camps. That much? It would take me a week just to pick the herbs for it. Unless you were to do a bit of the legwork yourself. Seems only reasonable, since I'm the one who wants it. What do you need? Hmm, one handful of valerian and two of mint, but make sure it's fresh. And a little wormwood wouldn't hurt. I was at the Egypt Women's Sabbath. And how did it turn out? The women were making such a ruckus, the woodcutters took them for witches and burst in on them. They meant to kill them. Jesus Christ. And how did it end? I killed them all. Killed them? God Almighty! You killed the men who went to see what all the noise was about? I didn't have much of a choice. There was no talking with them. They were determined to kill the witches. I'm so sorry. Holy Mother of God, you're my witness, I meant no harm. Forgive my sins and have mercy on me in my final hour. And as for you, you'd better go. Take care. Oh, this arrow will.
right in front of it. What's up? Hello, Boba. Oh, come on, you... Okay. I didn't walk over that direction. Ah, okay. You changed it. this back in what are you doing Baba then Mm -hmm. 
Now oh, let's see who is it that needs to. Someone there. That's understandable. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. That's the lot. Great. If we're really going to have to storm the walls, then at least it should be with full bellies. Oh, and here's something for your trouble. Be with God you, be with you. Okay, deaf one done. Um, go up here and check the bell. Yeah. Deer and a piece. This is my second time playing it. I played it uh, five years ago. And this time I'm playing it on hardcore difficult uh, with a hardcore setting. Which means you have to have at least two negative perks and you can only save by sleeping certain spots and using the full service at the bathhouse or using a potion but I'm skipping the potions because it makes it a little bit too easy but uh, yeah now don't remember much from it the first time I played it so this is fun Sweeten up your day. Uh, let's see check with the innkeeper Can be of help to you, Knight. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Tarnberg. To Tarnberg? Why? Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm running low on beer and I've no kegs left. Ask again later or go ask elsewhere. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. I heard there's been quite a ruckus in Tarnberg. It seems some gang of poachers has settled in the woods there. I couldn't tell you anything about it, though. You best talk to Nicholas, the Tomberg Master Hunter. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. 
But no, the game is uh, great and it has, there's a lot to learn in the game. I don't mind. And combat is um, something very different from any game, so you really have to learn how to swing your weapon and stuff. You know how to use the bow. Oh crap, um, that's worth a lot more. Let's talk about the pride. Well. Oh, that's a decent price. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to do fighting for, uh, you know, how to, to learn things and learn to read. You're a blacksmith's uh, boy, and then uh, I want to talk to you. Damn it. Good health to you. There's something I need from you, Father Godwin. Is there, my son? How can I help? There are a lot of dead and wounded at Talmberg and no one to make the sign of the cross on their foreheads. Has someone requested my services? Sir Divish himself. Well, 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 Sir Divish sends for me, and you're doing the asking, young Hal. How could I refuse? I'll go there right away. Take care. It's the same thing about riding, and getting better horse, getting better saddle. Getting better gear, getting better weapons, bows, arrows, getting money. And on hardcore, uh, well, on normal you can fast travel between cities and so on, but on hardcore you can't. You have to ride between. Oh, you need to learn where everything is too, which, you know, the roads and paths you take, look at a map where you are, because you don't have anything on your uh, indicator at the top, doesn't show anything unless you're right beside the area where the quest giver is. You have to actually pay attention to which roads you're taking, or you end up lost. And uh, let's see, so we need to go here. Just a fun one. Yeah. Somebody is um, real time. And you do have to pay attention uh, to, well, depending on what the enemy is. Because if they have a shield, you know, they're gonna block most of the hits on the left side. So you have to, like, uh, there's different uh, swings uh, you can learn. 
and there's also we can learn something called repost or sidestepping depends what kind of character you want to build if you want to build a full knight with full armor like i am right now you can go with you know just leather gear and stuff like that but then you have to be very good at dodging and uh, blocking or parry i should say uh, let's see maybe here ah crap Yes, right over and yeah. Now you can be a thief, you know, lock picking, stealing, pickpocketing. But if you get captured, you get the either you have to pay a fine if you have the money, or you can talk your way out of it if you have enough high stats. Or you end up in prison. And when you get released from prison, you have negative stats and many things. Yeah, I want your money. All of it. And you have to keep track of uh, your food. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I'm looking for some pitch for Talmberg. Already? What happened to the last lot we supplied? I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Do you have any, or don't you? I do. I had a buyer lined up, but it's been a while since he showed his face. What do you need it for? Talmberg's been taken by a horde of brigands, so we're laying siege to it. We could use some pitch. Christ, blood. I hadn't heard the news. All right, it's all yours. You gave us a hand with that ginger when we needed it, and if it's for Sir Divish, I know my duty. If you want to haul it away yourself, feel free, or I can get someone to deliver it to you. Thank you. God bless you. See you later. Oh yeah, say the game isn't easy in the beginning. Uh, it's hard to learn to get the hang of it. But it's supposed to be a you know a bit of a struggle in the beginning because you know you don't know how to handle the weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's it. That's why once you play this on normal the first time, so you get the hang of how the game actually works and wait a couple uh, a year or two, or then play it on hardcore if that's interesting.
God save you. Andrew, there's no more beer in Talmberg, and the soldiers are starting to grumble. Can't you send some there? I could. There's nothing in it for me. Mm. The camp's not that far away. Imagine if the soldiers got so upset by the lack of beer, they went on the hunt for it and ended up here. They could do some real damage. Wouldn't it be better to have them drunk and happy somewhere else? If they came here for a drink, I'd sell it to them. Why would they do any damage? What if someone lied to them that you were a Toth supporter and that they'd have to make do with water? I knew you were a bastard, but I didn't expect you to turn on me too. I do like things to go my way. I'll send it there. But just remember, everyone gets what's coming to them eventually. One day, you're bound to come across someone who isn't such a pushover. Maybe. But in the meantime, <laughs> make sure to send the best you have. After all, we don't want anyone to feel unwell enough to think about settling the score, do we? Take care now. Uh, let's see. That one is done. Okay, so let's see, we go here, go down, and go here, and then we go into the herbalist there. That's also something one has to worry about when you're traveling around on the map. Yeah. Especially in the forest, there are bandits. Usually can us right through them, but sometimes they can knock you off. Very seldom, but... It does happen. God preserve you, good night. Can I do something for you? from our own
Well, say the, what takes the time to get used to is the combat. That's what takes time to get used to. Um, hmm, let's see. Let's get a room down here and, um... Uh, yeah. We can access my chest. And uh, get all the herbs we need, maybe. Or if we need to go around and look for it. Tell me, is Alois still haunting you? No, he's gone forever. Ever since I let go of my old secret and made amends with God, I've felt as light as a feather. I sleep like a newborn baby at night. Thank you a hundred times over, Henry. Goodbye. Good day to you. I need to bring a few kegs of beer back to Talmberg. I'm sorry about that, but I don't have any to spare. I can hold out a while with what I have, but I'd be running short myself at the count of that. You'd have to try somewhere else. What's happening around here? Nothing much, thank God. Peace and quiet is a blessing in this day and age. Have you got a bed for the night? Hi, there's room for a long. Uh, one night. Just the one night. No problem. Here you go. You'll like it here. Farewell. Okay, uh,
Uh, thinking about going hand this in. Let me go to the ministry. What are you playing currently then, uh, Boba? Is that a uh, point and click thing? Or am I thinking about the wrong yeah. one? I think I've seen it. I do. I think I do have it. Yes, I haven't played it. And yeah. such as you takes an interest in me I've arranged some beer for you from the local tavern you're a proper treasure you are I'm gonna put a word in about how well you look after us like your own kith and kin the charcoal burners nearby have some stocks of pitch they'll let us have that's handy so Rubard will be pleased what little we had left was running out and he was getting worried well he can stop worrying good I'll get someone to take care of it. God be with you. Mm -hmm. okay, let's go up there and get her to make the potions. God save, 
How may I help you, good knight? I've gathered up all we need. Excellent. This will probably do the trick. And do you have the wormwood? Here it is. Fine, fine. I'll get started. It's going to take a while. Goodbye. first you back Good luck, Ben. Sleep here? Be gone right now! What are you doing sleeping here? That's not your bed. Get out! <laughs> yeah, like you're sleeping in her bed.
God save. Oh my god, it's still not done. Good luck, Ben. I can sleep in her bed. Let's drink. Uh, hmm. Mother of God! May the Lord watch over you. Yeah, good luck with it and enjoy your new PC. Time is this gonna take?
Oh, she just found me a gun. God. So, is the concoction ready? All done. Here, take the keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. Thank you for your help. Well, best of luck, lad. Now, I need a rest. Good luck, then. Greetings. This ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. What's in it? It stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent too. A drop in the evening, and you won't fall asleep till just before noon. Really? I hope it does the job, that it doesn't give them a run in the process. <laughs> Hopefully not. But if it does, well, it's hard to sleep with the runs, isn't it? True enough. But you're not much good as a guard when you're squatting in the bushes. Goodbye. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So so.
Happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kieser? But of course, he's staying with our local custodian. That's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery. <laughs> See you later. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. These are tragic times. Fortunately, I've only a little work left to do here, so I'll gather my things and set off for Talmberg. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. God be with you. Henry. No, oh, come on. What are you trying on here? Oh, God damn it. Uh, we have to come back. Yep, let's go and uh, sleep and save. Yeah.
gotta wait another one. More than this. Getting some more coffee. Perfect. See if we can get in now. Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world renowned Conrad Kieser. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for. Tobias Fayfar has sent me. He is asking Master Conrad for help with the Siege of Talmberg. Hmm, must be important then. Go in. Although well, I don't know how he can help from here. Here's the key. Goodbye. Oh, it's always open before during normal hours, so yeah. Enter huh. By the horde of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, Tobias Fayfar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fayfar? Tobias Fayfar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fayfar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn, I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Betlearn Castle. They locked you up in Betlearn? <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they leave me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons thanks to all this unrest. Hmm. And why are you here in Sasa? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. Hmm. What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. 
a great book of war machines and weapons, my opus magnum, my legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world would be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Oh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Hmm. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself, but I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Could I not just pay off the master builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes, what are you thinking? Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many it's... applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. You really can't come with me right away. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment. And I can't mm. leave here right now. Hmm. I'll try and find some way of getting you out of here. Look here. I don't want any trouble. You better talk to Carral, the master builder. So let's see if we can uh, match some money then.
Potomst. Second floor here then. Greetings. What business have you? I've got that commission. Not so loud. For heaven's sake. Show it here. The very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him the fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Then he'll do as you ask. Is that a password? Just so. He insists on it. Don't forget to repeat it verbatim and aloud. Then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger brought it. All right. But most importantly, do it quickly and put the commission back immediately. Carol's no fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document, and the game will be up. Describe. God be with you, good sir. I have a message for you. Hmm? The fox isn't half as clever as it thinks. What? Uh, 
Um, the password about the fox? What in heaven's name are you blabbering about? Comrade Kieser sent me. Why the hell didn't you say so? That sod. He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. Well, never mind. What do you want? I've got this document here, and I, I need to have a different one drawn up with um, the same signature and seal. So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Give him my greetings. Let's see it then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. I hope I won't have problems on your account. Take care now. Wait an hour. Is it done? Here you are. And pass on my best to the old dragon. Good luck to you. God be with you. Goodbye. God save you. A messenger brought a dispatch for you. To the hand of... Uh, I charge... To be of assistance... Permission to leave Sassau? Hmm. How very convenient for you. The hand of fate. We'll see what fate brings. I have an authorization letter of my own from the abbot. And if your letter of patent is fake... You'll be in trouble. Come with me. Goodbye. So Conrad may leave. He can. The letter of patent is genuine, and when the abbot commands... Wonderful. I'll tell him. Take care.
to me sweet jesus i knew this day would come what who is carol said you can leave and leave i can't even set foot outside the door not now please calm down and tell me what's going on <sighs> they're after me what makes you think someone's after you when I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Eh? Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course! Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. <laughs> what am I to do? Ah, oh, boy. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to him. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. Why can't it all be just easy, huh?
Question if I have to fight him or if I can uh, stealth kill him. I'd like to see if you can sneak up on him and uh, kill him. Or do I have to talk to him? some money And let's put it.
I let Prague get the try? Why do they want to kill me now? Well, did you find anyone? I did. And? He's dead. He was an assassin, all right. Lord have mercy. Was it Pekar? Yes. I saw him all too clearly. So they are after me. I knew it. Sweet Jesus, there'll be more. I need to hide away somewhere. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. so we can see what the heck is going on. Come back to the camp. I need to find a spot just to rest that uh, before it hits the fan, so to say.
Oh yeah, we have actually a... Okay. We have one thing we're gonna do here before we go and... Probably the main story further. Uh, we will see if the... Hunter is there now. Is it I need to go to? Uh, oh, the one above. Oh. The Tushbu is supposed to be built, uh, but we are gonna go up there to the huntsman. I don't know if he's gonna have a quest for us at, or not. Um, Sleepy head. Hour. I have to wait until uh, nine, something like that, eight, nine. God be with you. What can I do for you? I've got you some meat. And what's that to me? I told you not to drag it over here. Take it straight to the camp, like I said. You're so slow-witted, it's a wonder you managed to hit anything. It's a game, right? You didn't manage to shoot some poor <laughs> sod in those woods. Good luck, then. doesn't have a Take quest care. for me. Like the other one, too. Uh, what is it? Robna? Quest giver. Who doesn't give me anything? chosen site you want to strike the gate do you true we don't want to do more damage than necessary i quite understand sir toff is holed up there is he just so master conrad i hear you have some accounts to settle with him ah 
Not entirely. I've dug with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans, and we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life, and I did too, I must confess. Be assured, we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Rochetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Rochetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. Rochetta are missiles filled with black powder with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. I see. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred <laughs> to me. But I am very fond of Rochetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. <laughs> <sighs> I understand. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. Hmm. Let's see if there's uh Hmm, is there no okay. Eat our last cabbage. Do, 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 do. Oh, great. What the heck did we wake up at now? Ah. Isn't there a uh, yeah, there's an activity giving scallops? Yeah. Oh, since we woke up over here, why not go there and see what that is? Or we start bombing the castle. Whatever happens.
Are you Henry? What are you doing here? I and His Majesty, King of the Cumans, are here to examine his new estates. King of the Cumans? Sigismund? No, no. Sigismund is King of Hungary. Cumans have their own king. And what's His Majesty doing here without his armies? Well, the king, His Most Noble Majesty, is fond of hand to hand combat. And to indulge his passion, he goes around in the guise of an ordinary soldier. I see. So his opponents won't go easy on him, and he can indulge his passion to the full. So I can fight him too. Certainly. All you have to do is lay a wager, which is His Majesty's other great passion. A right royal wager. Now that sounds to me like a load of nonsense. You're a band of liars and cheats. If you don't like it, go on your way. I'm sure someone else will be honored to challenge the greatest fighter in the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Just because I picked that choice, I can't do it now? Good day, Henry. Yeah, so if thanks to me picking that choice, I can't. Um... Hey. What the hell was that? Give up. Stopper, <laughs> Dylan. Okay, so we have to redo this then. That's because I picked that choice. I thought it was just gonna be another, okay. Can't uh, shoot stuff. Oh, let's see how rough they are. If you can uh, cheese the fight. I 
it's a simple way to win the fights if you can get them up against the wall or something. Followed Gunner. I'm glad you came. Mm. What are you yes, doing? So oh, King of the Ki no, no. And what's his mud? Well, I see. Certainly. All right. I'll challenge this king of yours. Very well. But of course, his majesty can't waste his time with any old peasant. First, you have to prove yourself worthy. I have a feeling it's going to cost me something. Naturally. That's the beauty of the thing. We'll start with... Uh, with Rack of Lamb, the king's most faithful bodyguard. I'll take the money. I'm his majesty's... treasurer. Let's do this. I challenge your king now. You've beaten the king's bodyguard, true. But I can't How let you fight his name? majesty yet. First, you have to beat his good friend Ash. Ghoul Ash. Ah, <laughs> oh, these names, man. Takes so much of a beating, though. Thanks for 
forever to take one down. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Can I challenge your king now? Right. You've beaten both of those esteemed fighters. Now you may challenge his majesty. Watch out. The wager is only just beginning. Shit. Peace. Watch your damage. Okay. Holy crap, how much damn beating do you need to take to us? My money, you lousy dog. What money? God save you, Henry. The money I won fighting your king. Oh, that money. I see. We don't have any. So, tough luck. I won't be fobbed off. I'll get that coin from you one way or another. Then how do you propose to do that? It's four against one. Not good odds for you. True. But don't think you've heard the last of this.
<laughs> Is that some new kind of... Welcome, Henry. What's you the matter, laddie? Need a shit? Murder wanna knock you out, you dummy. Getting my money back one way or another. You failed. You failed. We got the money back. I don't care if that was not the way to do it, but that's what they deserved. Please don't let them live. Okay, let's go back and we can read some books, get some better stats.
Come on, these bushes, man. Bushes. And we sleep until the morning and then we good get going.
for him to wake up. Um, mm -hmm. Two hours. Praised. What brings you to me? I came to an agreement with Comrade. He's already here. You wouldn't believe how clever that fellow is. Now we really will build that trebuchet. That I guarantee you. Glad I could be of service. I'm truly grateful to you. And the men will be too when the assault starts. Fine work. You've certainly saved many lives. I probably shouldn't, but... Go and have a look in my trunk. You might find something there you can use. Thank you. Goodbye. Food. We are sneaking up on the wild evil. Cow. It's running right for us. Beef. Um, um. So, let's see how far they get with four hours. I wonder if we it's not be a full day we have to wait. sleep
sleep until uh, Yeah, we don't have anything else to do in the game right now, so done all the side quests and stuff. I don't know. Keep again. Be praised. What brings you to me? Master Fayfar, how's the trebuchet construction going? Much better now that I have Master Keezer to help me. Although, to be quite honest, it's more a case of me helping him. I'm taking note and learning as I go. Next time round, you'll be the siege master. I rather hope they won't be here next time. How's work going with Master Keezer? Excellent. His knowledge of machinery and mechanics is absolutely astonishing. He's a very gifted man. So you're confident the trebuchet will do its job? Absolutely. It's plain to see Master Keezer knows exactly what he's doing. How much longer do you think it will take? I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. 
As I understand it, the bass is quick to make, but the other parts are more complicated. And then there's all the balancing and setting the trajectory and range. I see. Well, I hope he's ready soon. So do I, Henry. Anyway, that's all water out of the bridge. May God guide our hands. God be with you. Víme, chlapci, chlapci bílé víno z pohára. That's it. See how strong those walls are. Let it rip. <laughs> uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. Or chicken? Or rooster, I should say. Move. Move. Damn it, I have to get to Sir Divish. Sir, they're coming. There's no time. Someone bring water. Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic? He's surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to sow with him. Kicks and buffed. Oh, come on. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many. And they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear, we'd be finished. Just as Toth has been planning. A sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Townburg. It might just work. But we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talberg. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. My part in the battle, sir. Again, sir. I wanted to go with the Scallets, man. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded. Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the men will be from Scallets. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. But... that is... I want to be in the vanguard. Now hear me well, Henry. There are whole cemeteries full of heroes who rushed into danger. And if the first human you meet runs you through, 
it won't be good for morale. Not to mention that Radzik would have my guts for garters. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> when you're ready, go and join the Scalots men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to retake. If you thought you'd be spending the whole speed sitting on your arse, playing dice, and squilling ale, you were sadly mistaken. Huff is bearing down on us with his band of drunk And if there's one thing we cried out a little longer. Come <laughs> on. 
<laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric. Toth's captain and right-hand man. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. <laughs> Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet! Come <laughs> on. 
Looks like some arrows just went right through them there. I don't know what. Well, yeah, the damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot. Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. He seems to be on very, um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godsend, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Save just in case. Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you better think carefully about how you answer them. Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas' allies. You! Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? 
There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning, but there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? How did you meet him? What's that got to do with anything? Hmm. Okay. I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand. <laughs> for a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Well, Divish, I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hanush. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Hmm. Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. Hmm. What? It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? 
Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Jobst, you say? All right. Hmm. What is he doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Oh, it's an oak. Uh, I need some more food. Do, do, do. That beef is gonna be bad. Um, uh, hmm. Where is the devish here at the moment? Uh, hmm. Well, I don't see anything for us, it's just to... So Dewish is yeah, he was at that camp up there. Yeah. I'm glad you came. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. But, sir, I have no idea how. Master Kieser and Master Fafar have prepared everything. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Goodbye. with the, our new toy. Load 
the trebuchet. Good day. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic, and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. What do you think of Master Kizer? He definitely knows what he's doing. And all that wild talk of his rockets and such like. I'd almost let him try it out, but on some other castle. <laughs> do you think there's any truth in it? I've never seen such weapons used, so I can't really judge. But if his ideas worked, they'd change the way we make war. He showed me some of the drawings he has with him. I don't know if he's a genius or a madman. Goodbye. Come on, put your back into it, boy. Load it up. Coming. Divish said, Sir Divish. <clears throat> Sir Divish said, You tell me what happens next. I. We're going to watch Istrand shitting himself. That's all. <laughs> For a few days at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. Good luck then. Oh, two days. Okay. Kill another. Ooh. something the matter a few of them have taken to their heels if they stop in Kutenberg I'll be glad enough but I fear they may have other plans if those were the best of Ishvan's men they could be lurking in the woods they'll probably wait to attack us at the worst possible moment <laughs> my fear exactly I won't breathe easy until until Toth is hanging from the gate but in the meantime I'll be glad to know the woods at my back are clear can I count on you of course sorry, 
Would you like me to bring back their gear as evidence they're dead? That's not necessary. I trust you, Harold. You don't even have to do the killing. Just let me know where you find them, and that'll be that. There's no need for you to get hurt in the process. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You came too soon. Goodbye. Can we start with A then? So, past that one, and get to this one. Let's save first. Question if we should um, just ride and look. Oh god, I know you wake up over here again. Oh, this uh, plan's changed. Yeah. Here we can just go up then, right? Engagements, I'm not going to do that then. Speed, hurt ourselves. Uh...
So it, but I found all of their campsites. The rest of the woods are clear. That's a relief. Now let's relieve ourselves of this accursed toth. Good luck then. Okay, now we have to wait.
Oh, that was a good night, pigs. Getting some more coffee. Right back. I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You came too soon. That's what she it's said. No. Expecting it. Mm -hmm. 
Since Sir Divish's colours still aren't flying over Tarnburg, then I suppose we'll be attacking. Just so. That Istran's a stubborn bastard. All right. When do we start? There's no reason to wait. Are you really ready? If you need to rest or anything, we can still wait. You won't have another chance until we've won the day. Or until your final rest. I'm ready. Glad to hear it. We're going to attack on two fronts. The north gate and the west wall, which we'll scale with ladders. The attack will be split into different stages. Taking the outer walls, the inner bailey, and finally the core of the castle and the tower. How are we going to attack the gate? We'll try to do as much damage as we can with the trebuchet first. Kieser claims he can even hit it directly. Even if that's true, we'll have to charge through a downpour of enemy arrows all the way to the portcullis. Portcullis? Fortunately, it's wooden, so we'll be able to break it down. But dealing with the defense in the bailey won't be easy. And what's the plan for attacking the west wall? First, we have to get men to the wall with ladders, which is no easy matter under fire, so we'll need as many men covering them as possible. As soon as the ladders are in place, our foot soldiers will run up and try to scale the wall. Once a few of them get to the battlements, we should quickly gain the upper hand. How will we take the battlements? Either by scaling the west wall, or our men at the gate will help. If they can break through, that is. And the inner bailey? That will be tough. Even if we get through the gate and into the outer bailey, we're still a long way from victory. The castle is designed so we'll be like hens in a coop to anyone with a bow on the inner battlements. We'll have to either fight our way through or somehow get around them. What about the living quarters? There, I'm worried most about the hostages. Once we're inside, Istvan will know defeat is inevitable, but we'll still have to fight for each and every room. I think I've heard everything I need to know. Do you want to join the attack on the walls or on the gate? Remember, many of the Scalot's men will follow you. It could make a big difference. I'll help with the attack on the walls. I'm proud of you, Henry. You've changed from an insolent pup into a tough, reliable fighter. And as God is my witness, we will kick those horse sons' arses. A village lad and an old soldier? <laughs> this man must be shaking in his boots. <laughs> if he's not shaking, then he doesn't know what he's got coming. Just one last thing, though. No matter how good the plan is, something always gets fucked up. Keep your eyes open and take advantage of every chance. Help your comrades and don't go rushing in where you're outnumbered. We have to take the castle gradually, one position after another. I remember that. Good luck to you, Stripling. Good luck to you, old soldier. Goodbye. That was a precision shot, if anything. Objective start.
Oh, somebody pushes the ladder. No. Get bullied. Hey, I mean. Stupid shit all the time now. How the heck did that hit me?
But why is it in me again? It's like... All these. Can't freaking move. Hello. Oh my god, yes.
What the heck am I shooting like? place at the moment. You know what? Um... Nope, nope. God damn it, that was... Uh... Did the wrong thing.
Why don't I have my uh, other arrows with me? I accidentally. Oh my god, that one missed. I wonder where my other arrows went. Oops. Sorry, I shot the wrong guy. Oh, come on! Damn it, he won't. <laughs> he keep on moving, yes, it's like, shh. God damn it. That fight is just nuts. Like, I just wonder where do uh, our men go? Died quickly up on the battlements, and that was his weird. Sir, we should give the order. Let's see if Ishvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt fate, Hanush. Ishvan, it's over. You want us to come and get you? I wouldn't advise that. Your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. 
My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time since you warmed yourself at your own hearth. I'm in no hurry. I have plenty of supplies here. Grand view and excellent company. What more could I want? Your freedom! Freedom? Freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir, you're all noblemen here. All bound by honour. I give you my word as a knight and lord, and that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie and Sir Radzig, you may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. And just how far will we get? What good will it do me if your men attack us in the woods instead of here? If you give me your word of honor that you will leave and never return, I promise you safe passage to the boundary of this fiefdom. What happens after that is up to you and the will of God Almighty. Very well then, but I want a small safeguard. I'll give you her ladyship, but Radzig comes with me. I'll release him in scullets. Out of the question! Is our word not good enough for you? Is mine not good enough for you? I swear I'll release him when I get to a safe distance. I'll go with him, Hanush. Let the Lady Stephanie have her freedom now. Father! Don't worry, son. I trust Lord Toth's self-interest more than his word. He wouldn't be fool enough to harm me. If you're certain, Radzig. Prepare horses and supplies and tell your men to pull back. We'll come down. You heard him. Get to work. And any man who breaks his truce answers to me. So are you really going to let them go? My word is my bond, Henry. He's a cutthroat and a liar. Good men are dead because of him. What's to stop us from skewering him as soon as he sets foot outside? Our honor. If you let him go, he'll do the same again. Or worse, God's justice will find him. And then, you'll get a taste of my mace. If we break our word of honor, we have none. And without honor, we are nothing. Never fear. Your father will be all right. We'll hunt down those vermin yet. Bring the horses. Here she is, as I promised. Not a hair on her head armed. Division. Stephanie. Forgive me, husband. I'm sorry. For what? For letting them into the castle. Come now, my dear. You're not to blame. I didn't know who he was. He said he was your friend. Never mind. No. I hope your word can be trusted. Certainly more than yours. If everything goes as agreed, I'll set Radzig free in Scalets. If anyone tries to follow us, I'll kill him. We won't. My apologies for keeping you from your father, but you'll see each other soon enough. Sword. I expect you'll want it back after all the trouble you went to. Actually, you know what? I think I'll keep it as a memento. This isn't over. I'll find you. I look forward to it. Mount up, Henry. You've heard what he'll do if we follow them. We're not going to follow them. We just have to collect your father. Or do you want him to walk back here when they release him? Hey, in here with.
We had a rough battle time. Now we're going to get our father. This will be the end of the game. The way you I assume. Well, what I mean is, hats off to you, Hal. You wouldn't catch me doing that. Three days, I didn't think much about it. I just felt I had to do it. Do, do. No sign of them. Move on. I'm glad to see Ishban kept his word, sir. Not half as glad as I am, Your Grace. Well, we kept our word too. And now Toth has had his head start and he's fair game. Which way do they go? To the north, but I would be careful, Sir Hans. Fear not, Your Grace. I have twice as many men as he. <laughs> well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to say to each other. Let's go! You all right, Father? I am. They treated me quite decently. Although they did steal my horse, so I'll have to go back on foot. It looks like it's all over. Not by a long shot. It won't be over until we get this mess cleared up. And catch that bastard. How could we let him go? Would you rather we killed him? Even if it meant Lady Stephanie and I died too? No, of course not. But what was to stop us from killing him after the exchange? Honor? Honor? If the word of honor of a nobleman could not be trusted, then he would never have agreed to the exchange. And where's the honor in abandoning your son? Hmm. You know how it is. We were young. It happened, and I couldn't marry a commoner. Then your father, I mean Martin, came along and took care of both of you. Well, he knew it. What? That I was your father? Certainly. He was a great man. He took you as his own, and I always kept an eye on you. Of that you can be sure. I know so little about his past. He told you nothing. Oddly enough, even though you don't have his blood, you're very like him. 
When he was around your age, he became bored of his trade and set out to see the world. He lived through many adventures, even fought in a war. In a war? Yes, in Poland, I believe. And I don't think he cared much for it. That's why he wanted me to stay at home. He spent some time in Prague, then settled in Kuttenberg. But it seems he quarreled with someone there and finally ended up here. You know the rest. I loved him, but even so, uh, I somehow always had a feeling I didn't quite fit in. It was in your blood, I suppose. <laughs> I lost the one thing I had left from him. Your sword. Ah, the sword. It's not my sword. It's yours. For a moment there, it was so near, yet so far. Oh, well, it can't be helped. It was almost within my grasp, but just then I had something else on my mind. Well, I think we may yet have a chance to get it back. This business with Toth is not yet over, unfortunately. That's a chance I'd welcome. Not just to get the sword, but that bastard Istvan too. And then I'll find that German whore son who torched Skalitz, and I'll slay him with it. I'll never forget his face. Or his name. Mark Vart von Aulitz. Those are noble intentions, son. But don't forget, there are other things in this world that are worth living for. Like what? Look around you. Blue skies overhead, green grass underfoot, beautiful girls, good wine, a few good friends, and a fine steed under your backside. Those are things worth living for. Though I can't deny that swine who killed your mother must pay for what he did. But it's better not to dwell too much on that at the cost of those other things. On the subject of steeds, I think we'll have to ride like the Knights Templar. How's that? Two up. One day I'll tell you how they got their seal. You can take the front. It's like I always imagined it would be. Teaching my boy to ride. Although it would be better if you were a little smaller. My word, it's all go today, isn't it? I wonder who this is. I think I know. It's Margrave Jobst. The king's cousin? I wonder what he wants. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, so there's a lot to build on if they are making the second game now. That's what we're gonna get the information on the first day.
see if there's anything after this. Lot of production babies. Son. Father. <laughs> Come now. You know who sired you. That doesn't matter now. I miss you, Amma. I miss you very much. Wrong subtitles. I'm proud of you. I let you down. I, I lost the sword. I let that bastard get away. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was nothing you could have done to save us. And someone has to live and carry the torch. That's for the sword. It's just a thing. You didn't want me fighting. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. He did what was right. I have to leave you now. Oh, please. You know I can't stay.
Will I ever see you again? God knows. Make her proud. Don't go! No! What on earth were you dreaming about? I couldn't wake you, and it's well past dawn. Sir Radzik wants you at the upper castle. The lords are in council with Yobst. Right. I'll go straight away. What is it? It's just... I don't know how to address you anymore. All of a sudden, you're Sir Radzig's son, hobnobbing with lords and ladies. And here's me, as common as muck. Oh, give over, you idiot. Do I look like a lord to you? Not really. You're as much a lord as I am a nun. And I've never looked good in a habit. <laughs> Get out of here! Or I'll have you clapped in the stocks. Weird with the subtitles being all uh, wrong. Take a stroll for town. How? Are you going to the meeting with Margrave Jobst as well? I am. What about Istvan? I assume that we didn't catch him? No. Because if we had, you'd be the first one to know. Have no fear. We'll get him eventually. I hope you're right. Anyway, let's go and see what Jobst wants from us. My lords, Christ's blessings on you all. And on you, Lord Capon. And this is my son, Henry. I didn't know you had a son, Sir Redzig. It came as a bit of a surprise to young Henry, too. <laughs> this gentleman here is John II of Liechtenstein, a member of my council. I'm honored, gentlemen. Come join us. Our grave Jobs was just about to tell us the reason for his visit. Your Grace. I'm sure we're all agreed, Your Graces, that all this unrest must come to an end. This kingdom needs a king. Question is, which king? 
My cousin, Wenceslas IV, who is being held in captivity. I have to confess, my lord, that your answer surprises me a little. If I'm correctly informed until recently, you sided with your other cousin, Sigismund. That I cannot deny, and I have always stated my position plainly. But, times have changed. How they changed, your grace. Sir, there is one thing on which we undoubtedly concur. That King Wenceslas, unfortunately, did not inherit his father's gift for governing. Sadly, his failures have cost Bohemia, the nobles, and our whole Luxembourg family a great deal of money and effort. How did the king let it go so far, dammit? It's in his temperament. He cares only for wine, women, and the hunt. A king, in fact, who never wanted to be king. Then why didn't he just let his brother have the crown? <laughs> Young sir, the crown weighs heavy when there are duties to be performed. But to surrender it means giving up great privileges, too. But he did surrender power to his brother. When things started getting out of hand, Wenceslas appealed to Sigismund for help in restoring order. What you're saying, Wenceslas has invited him here? This is starting to make my head spin. Actually, it makes sense when you think about it. Sigismund wanted to re-establish the power of the whole House of Luxembourg. He thought if he helped Wenceslas win the Imperial Crown, in return his brother would help him become the King of the Romans and leave the actual reign of Bohemia and the Empire to him. Sigismund would govern while Wenceslas could carry on doing what he was best at, enjoying the life of the Imperial Court. Why wasn't Wenceslas crowned Holy Roman Emperor long ago? He was already elected King of the Romans. All he had to do was go and let the Pope put the damn Imperial crown on his head. Who knows? Maybe he'd prefer hunting and consorting with bathhouse wenches to spending time with the Pope. Well, so would I, I must admit. <laughs> Sigismund's plan seemed sound enough, but it didn't quite work out, did it? It worked for a while. He and his brother reached an agreement. Sigismund took over administration of the kingdom and began planning Wenceslas's journey to Rome for the imperial coronation. But then Wenceslas realized he would just be a puppet with a crown. I must say, Margrave Jobst, Wenceslas and Prokop behave rather like naughty children in need of a good clout about the ears. Sigismund would agree. He was already planning his rule of Bohemia, and all of a sudden, the rug was pulled from under him. I'd say he lost his patience and decided he'd drag Wenceslas to the coronation, kicking and screaming if he had to. Just like a naughty child, as you say. So he abducted him and your brother Prokop too, if I heard correctly. Correct. And you helped him do it, if I heard correctly. Yes, your graces, it's true. I was there when Sigismund abducted Prokop. I thought everything could somehow be settled that we could make my brother see sense. But Sigismund just wanted to put an end to the dispute once and for all, whatever the cost. There was nothing I could do to stop him. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Ah. The worst of it is that it was all for nothing. Instead of putting a stop to the revolt, it escalated it, and the result is this chaos we have today. That's true enough, sir. But I must admit now, I'm not sure what your position is. The king is incompetent, but we must protect him. The simple truth, gentlemen, is that for all of Wenceslas's faults, we have no one else. So we'll have to make do with his idleness. People like him, though. But what can we do now? Sigismund has the League of Lords behind him. Otto von Bergov, Heinrich von Rosenberg... The situation has gotten completely out of control. Now even the nobles of the League of Lords are realizing that Sigismund wasn't the right choice. So now Bergov is on your side. Are we to assemble an army together with him and face Sigismund on the field of battle? We're not in Hungary now. Such affairs may be settled elegantly without unnecessary hostilities or expenses. I have negotiated an alliance with the Hungarian bishops, the Polish, and of course the Czech nobility against Sigismund. 
Every day he is losing the ground under his feet, and that's why I need your help too. What kind of help though? Sigismund has a massive army, and Rosenberg, Burghoff, and Prague are behind him. Do you have an army you could face him with? But that's not what I mean at all. There's been a revolt against Sigismund in Hungary, <laughs> partly due to my efforts. And now he'll have to choose whether he wants to gain the Bohemian crown, which is a very risky enterprise, or hold on to the Hungarian one. He can't have both. And there's a tough struggle awaiting him in Hungary. I'm not sure he'll win, and Rosenberg and Berghoff know it too. They're not stupid. If the Bohemian nobility stands together, they will turn. We are men of little consequence, Margrave. Radzig here lost everything because of his alliance with Wenceslas. Sir Divish came within a hair of the same fate. Even Ratte is defenseless against Sigismund and the League of Lords. What's more, Your Grace, King Wenceslas languishes in captivity in Vienna. He can't rule too well from there. And what do you propose? To sit with your arms folded till the Bohemian lands are turned to ashes like scarlets? We have to put a stop to this senseless war! And do you know, sir, what the true position of the League of Lords is? I'm not on the best of terms with them at this moment, so you'll have to ask them yourselves. Yes. Why not? I'll go and visit Burghoff at his castle and we'll see what he tells me. <laughs> you know, that's not such a bad idea, young sir. True. Though a little risky. I doubt Burghoff would harm a blue-blooded envoy. And you can find out what he has to say about developments, and what the League of Lords is planning. Then we'll decide what to do next. I'll help you compose a letter to him. I'd like Henry to come with me. Why not? He's proven himself an able investigator, and he'll also be a good bodyguard if anything should happen. And I'll send Sir John here to Kutenberg to be my eyes and ears there. I believe both your reports will help us get a better grip on the situation. When can you set out? Just as soon as I pack my things. Excellent. Margrave Jobs and I will draft the letter. Get ready, and we'll meet back here. Hmm? I expect it would be best to write it in your name as Lord of Lipa. Quite so, Margrave. What exactly am I to write? Hmm. Oh, what is it really the issue? So. It looks like you're off on a mission. Yes. I can't wait. I don't want to dampen your spirits, my boy, but watch out. These are evil times, and who knows what can happen along the way. Not to mention that Bergov is no saint. Don't worry. I know. You've shown you can fend for yourself, but do take care. You'll be traveling as Lord Capon's bodyguard. You'll be there to make sure nothing untoward happens to him. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears wide open. What Burgoff tells you is one thing, but what you see may be quite another. Rest assured, Father. And don't get embroiled in anything else. Just hand over the letter, hear out his reply, and return. Yes. Very well. Burgoff is at Trotsky Castle. I think you'll find it quite an eye-opener. It's one of the finest castles in the land. It's three days' ride from here, so unless you hit a snag along the way, you'll be back soon enough. Any questions? I'm getting a bit lost in the Luxembourg lineage. It all seems a bit too tangled. The Luxembourgs have ruled the Empire and Bohemia for almost a hundred years now. Emperor Charles brought this land to prominence. When he was in power, things had never been so good. Wenceslas and Sigismund are his sons, but by different mothers. Jobst and Prokop are their cousins. They were entrusted with governing Moravia. But instead, they've been in a bitter armed feud for years. And now Sigismund's fallen out with Wenceslas. Wenceslas also had another brother, the youngest, John of Gerlitz, who was most probably poisoned. They seem like a hot-blooded lot. It's hard to keep up with their affairs, since they tend to change their alliances from one day to the next. Hmm. Who is he really, this Jobst? The cousin of King Wenceslas. He's the Margrave of Moravia. I admit I don't know what to make of him myself. 
Until recently, he was allied with the League of Lords. For a time, he even served Rupert of the Palatinate against the King. And now suddenly, he's reversed his position. I don't know what led him to do it, and one can't help being suspicious. It's best to keep a watchful eye on him. But he really is the leader of the resistance against Sigismund these days. We'll just have to see how it all turns out. I'm a bit concerned so many people seem to think so little of King Wenceslas. You knew him, didn't you? What's he really like? <sighs> well, there's no straightforward answer to that question. He certainly makes a great hunting and drinking companion, but he can be very fiery and impetuous when things don't go how he'd like them. He never had much of a head for high office. He finds it tiresome. But once a man's grasped the scepter, it's hard to let it go again. You can't just abscond. You've seen for yourself what happens when he disappears for a few months. Better a bad but legitimate king than a bloody war over the throne. Who is this Prokop that Yobst spoke of? Yobst's brother, the king's cousin. He and Yobst warred over Moravian supremacy for years. Then they were allies for a while, betrayed Wenceslas and sided with Rupert of the Palatinate. But after Sigismund abducted Wenceslas, Prokop fomented a revolt against him, and Sigismund had him captured. Politics. <laughs> make of it what you will. I, for one, can't make head or tail of it most of the time. The League of Lords and that Burgoff we're off to see. Who are they exactly? The Lords of the Powerful Houses. Heinrich of Rosenberg, Otto of Burgoff, Heinrich of Raditz, and others. They're unhappy with the way their influence declined after Wenceslas surrounded himself with the lesser orders of nobility. They abducted the king years ago and made him bow to their will. They got away with it that time, and now they've joined forces with Sigismund and done it again. But now it seems that Sigismund's behavior is starting to rub them up the wrong way. So they may well be thinking twice. We'll see what Burgoff has to say. I don't know all that much about Sigismund. He's the king's younger brother and king of Hungary in his own right. Seven years ago, he led a crusade against the Turks and was defeated at Nicopolis. Some say it was due to the recklessness of the French knights, most of whom were mercilessly slaughtered. Sigismund is ambitious and capable. He might well make a better ruler than Wenceslas, but he's arrogant and to our misfortune, brutal. Not long ago, he himself was held captive by the Hungarian nobility. They dislike him as much as some of the Czech and German noblemen do his brother Wenceslas. Ironically, Wenceslas joined forces with Jobst to liberate him. And now this is how Sigismund repays his brother. There's no doubt about it, God does move in mysterious ways. Rupert of the Palatinate. That's a name I hadn't heard before today. Rupert is the Prince Elector of the Palatinate. What's a Prince Elector? The Prince Electors are dignitaries of the Holy Roman Empire who have the right to elect the King of the Romans, who would then be crowned Holy Roman Emperor by the Pope. Rupert took the title for himself with the help of three other Prince Electors, even though Wenceslas had already been appointed. Some of the nobility in the Empire recognized Rupert's claim, but when he went to Rome to be crowned Emperor, it turned into a fiasco. Now he's doing his utmost to get Wenceslas to acknowledge him, but so far without success. So, now we have two kings of the Romans. Jops sided with Sigismund for a while, but now he switched allegiance. He seems to do that quite a lot. Hmm. That young man, Sir John of Liechtenstein, why is he here? The Liechtensteins are a powerful Austrian family with estates in Austria and Moravia. Sir John sits on Jops council. Since the king's being held captive in Vienna, I suppose it makes sense to have a powerful Austrian house as allies. It could be very useful. So I wonder what, uh, if this is what the second one is going to be about. Being the king and or... That's about all. Very well. Take the letter from Sir Hanush. If now that is what they've been working good on. Good luck, son. Eh? I think I know how we have to be. It makes two of us. If I didn't.
I believe we have written it well, gentlemen. Without a doubt. No one could deduce from this whether we are Sigismund's allies or foes. <laughs> I must travel back to Brno now, but soon I will go to Brandenburg and I will stop here on the way back. By then, Sir Capon should be back and we can discuss how to proceed. Right. Before you leave, my lord, there is one thing that gives me no rest. Why did Sigismund come as a foe? It makes no sense. If I may, sir. I think I can explain. Oh, please enlighten us, young sir. I live not far from Hungary, where Sigismund reigns. It is a savage country, and the constant war with the Turks has hardened the people. They need a monarch with an iron hand. So when Sigismund felt the wind of revolt, he reacted as he would at home. Only what works on the Hungarian nobles does not work here in Bohemia. Bringing order is one thing, but Slaughtering and pillaging with a horde of barbarians, quite another. Uh, what purpose does that serve? But Sigismund did give the Bohemian nobles a chance to take his side. It was only when they refused his ultimatum that he lost patience and took to the sword. As for the barbarians, he could afford nothing better. The Hungarian nobility would gain nothing from joining his campaign in Bohemia. He didn't have enough coin for a regular army, and so he recruited the Cumans. What he does not pay them, they make up for in plunder. But in the end, he didn't have enough to even satisfy the Cumans. That's why he raided Gutenberg and Scarlets. He wanted the silver. That makes sense. My lords, how's the letter coming along? It's done. Then we can be on our way. Now remember what we said, boy. All you have to do is deliver the letter, listen to the answer, and come back here. Don't provoke Burkhoff in any way. Provoke? <laughs> Me? Never, Uncle. We'll be back in a few days. <laughs> Farewell, was, uh, your graces. Look off. Mm. Come, Henry, my men are waiting. I wish you Godspeed. I'm gonna change you complete the main storyline. If you like, you can still embark on side quests and activities. You just wander the world. You can end the game any time afterwards by reading off the map with Sir Hans upon squad. Come now, Hal. My men are mustered in the courtyard. We can get going. Before we leave, yeah, let's go and talk to our um, Teresa. Hey, lad! How are you? Can you tell me...
bus hall. Goodbye. Sleep. Oh, you bum. Or why not? I've got something for you. I hope you won't need them, but just in case. Thank you. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Is it going to be the same thing again? Oh. Oh, where else then? Going to the inn. Teresa, there's something I ought to tell you. What is it? What's troubling you? I'm not quite sure how to tell you, so I'll just spit it out. So Radzi Kobola is my father. <laughs> and King Wenceslas is my cousin. You really had me going. No, I'm serious. What? But... Henry, how on earth could... I know. It was a shock for me, too. It turns out Sir Radzig and my mother had some... romance. Of course, he couldn't marry a commoner. And your father? I mean, the blacksmith. God, that sounds so odd. I mean, Martin. He knew Sir Radzig from way back. Martin... Pa married her before I was born. To protect her reputation. And raise me as his own. And Sir Radzig allowed it? Sure. Actually, I get a feeling the whole thing was agreed between them. Sir Radzig was glad she wasn't left alone with a child. My God, Henry. That's just... And what will that mean for you? Mm. I honestly don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, it all depends on Sir Radzig, doesn't it? As his illegitimate son, I don't have any rights as such. But it's not like I've suddenly become a noble like Capon. And even though Sir Radzik has publicly acknowledged me, well, sort of, it hasn't really changed anything. And if Sir Radzik decided to make a real noble of you, would you want that? I wouldn't. And it's never going to happen anyway. Why not? A bastard remains a bastard. Even if Sir Radzig never had another heir, all his property would go to the king by rights. You might be right, but can't you imagine it? Would you... Would you still care for me, a common mill maid, if you were a nobleman? Of course. I'll always be fond of you. Nothing will change that. I'll remember that. I hope you won't regret those words. No fear of that. Go, Henry. Take care. Yeah. 
I would have thought it would be a happy ending between us and her. Well, kind of is, but. Set off now, Henry. Of course, I can't wait. So, to horse. The Lord of Burgov is bound to be waiting as eagerly. Was it isn't? So on first day, War of Horror Studios is going to do an announcement. So, so how is life as a highborn bastard? I'm getting used to it. Well, what about Rodzig? Has he accounted for not owning up to you the whole time? He explained it. All will be well, I think. Glad to hear it. It's far more acceptable for a nobleman to befriend a noble bastard than a blacksmith's son. Mind you, don't come to blows with a blacksmith, my young lord. So it feels like they can uh, continue building on this story now. What do you think about Sir Yobst and his plan? Well, I admit all the scheming has me a little lost. I thought Sigismund was the devil, Wenceslas a martyr, those on his side the heroes, and those against him the villains. I believe we rescue the king and all would be well again. But now it looks a lot more complicated. <laughs> exactly. How are you I doing, didn't Renchi? I the noble lords to be as noble as the angels, but I hadn't expected such a sewer. They behave like children. I can't fathom how after all this backstabbing they're somehow still on speaking terms. I don't know either. Beggar's belief. Did you know that King Wenceslas is such a... such a... Feckless drunkard. Not really. And to be honest, I'm not sure I wanted to know. I slept better believing my fate was watched over by a wise and powerful monarch. So did I. What a dismal world when you can't keep trust in your own king. On the other hand, times were better with him here than with him gone. Isn't that the truth? What do you think of Sigismund? If I were him, I'd have had enough of my brother even sooner. But he's a monster. Look at what those hordes of his are getting up to here. What he did in Scalitz. True enough. On the other hand, if Wenceslas and yeah, Paul right. hadn't double-crossed him, none of this would have happened. Disappointed in my football team, but... Yeah. That's a fact. But he couldn't let him shit all over him either. Not that I'm defending him. He's a weasel. No doubt about that. Or soccer for some weirdos. Yeah. Do you know anything about Prokop? <laughs> Sir Hanish can tell you a thing or two about it. Why? Last winter, a certain Sir Jan Sokol of Lambert, a well-known knight, or robber to some, tried to occupy the city of Iglam, which was on the orders of none other than Prokop. And what has that got to do with Hanish? Well, he was there with him. Of course that's not something to brag about in front of yachts. And what was it all about? They wanted to occupy a city that was on the side of the League of Law, but despite there being several hundred strong, they didn't take it. For one thing, they couldn't get past the Iglam women. 
with their pitchforks and cauldrons of hot water. <laughs> I would never have thought of Sahana, she's such a rebel. And have you heard anything about Rupert of the Palatina? A little. He can't manage even to wrest power from a king who doesn't much care for ruling and isn't fighting back. That doesn't seem like a man who has what it takes to rule. And that's all I need to know. And that Burghoff we're going to see, do you know anything about him? I haven't heard much good about him, but I have a feeling that some other nobles are quite in awe of him. And his castle is apparently quite impressive. I'll be interested to see for myself. And what about the League of Lords? Wealthy, pompous. The king doesn't seem to like them much. He's chosen to let the lesser ranks of the nobility into his circle, men like your father. I admit I don't blame him one bit, but the lords weren't happy about their lost influence, so they put their foot down. If I were Wenceslas, I'd have let them hang after they abducted me the first time. But he gave them seats at the provincial council? Little wonder they're back in their old tricks. It cost me a lot of effort, but it seems I've finally succeeded in making a half-decent warrior out of you. Anything I can do for you? Are you wishing you stayed home at Ratai instead of joining in our nighttime venture? <laughs> you must be joking. I haven't had so much fun since... Uh, actually ever. <laughs> really? Despite being wounded? <laughs> actually, you missed the best part. When I was hauling you like a sack of grain to the battlements, dead to the world. It can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. Oh, all right then. Next time I'll just leave you to Istvan's tender mercies. 
Nonsense. What would you do without me? Still, thank you for hauling me out of there. Anything for you, my lord. I went to party with Wolflin. So how did that go? He's dead. What? How did that happen? I challenged him to a duel and he lost. You challenged Wolflin of Camber to a duel? Jesus, Henry, I don't know whether you're brave or out of your fucking mind. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. What about the others? Most of them scattered, and Bernard can take care of the rest. Well, now, this calls for a drink. I want to hear the whole story. I'm happy to tell it. See you later. What do I need to move my horse for you to... Henry, can we go? Are you ready for this? Of course. At last I'll get to see more of the country and have a bit of an outing. Quite. Let's get to it then. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him and skewer him with it. Cheer up, Henry. I have a feeling you'll get your chance one day, and it won't be long in coming. Forward, men! Oh, dentist Fortuna, you must! In the sunset, we ride. There's so much uh, being explained in the end here. I uh, hope they will build on this. That was it. That was our adventure journey of um, Henry's Hardcore. So it's going to be interesting on the first day to see what they have planned for the next game. If it is going to be Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, I'll call something else. Kingdom come something. Well, yeah, that was a took a long time, fifteen days to go through all the side quest activities and so on. Mm-hmm. That was the end. Yeah, we had a big battle at the castle, trebuchet attacking the castle, and yeah. Missed all that. There was a lot of explanation about uh, how people have been, yeah. How the king is and his cousins and so on and blah, blah, blah and all that get a lot of information at the end so it is a good way to build up on a follow-up game to this so
Which we will know on first day, if it is or not. Yeah, there is a lot of DLCs for this one, but I don't have any on this one. I only have a tournament one. But then there's like... More stuff. Banner the Bastards and the Woman's Lot. I think you play a different person and even you don't play Henry anymore in that one. But yeah, so that I probably stopped there for today. It'll be a shorter stream today. But yeah, it's only usually about an hour left of what I usually stream. So I'll stop here for today. And then we will start on something else tomorrow. We'll see what it will be. I haven't quite decided. So, I will say thank you, everybody, for stopping by today. Much appreciated, as always. I'll see you guys back tomorrow on Sunday. And then we will uh, play something else. So, you all take care. Have a great Saturday, Sunday. And I'll see you guys back on Sunday. So, you guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you back tonight buddy Any of you watch the new uh, Fallout series on Prime? If you guys have it, that is. I watched uh, three episodes of it. It's an okay one.